Hi, I'm Jeanette by Prenatal Genie. In today's video, I am going to show you how to hand express. I will cover when to hand express and the right technique to use. So keep on watching to learn more. Hand expression is using our hands to remove milk from the breast. So hand expressing is such a vital skill to learn from the beginning in your breastfeeding journey. So I'm going to cover a few of the benefits. Hand expression helps with initial engorgement or with breast engorgement throughout your breastfeeding journey. So it helps relieve engorgement. It also helps with latching baby. So let's say if baby is sleepy and not willing to latch or if baby is not latching well, you could hand express into a cup, into a spoon and feed baby that way. In the meantime, until you find more support and let's say baby is latching, but very sleepy, you could hand express a little bit of milk and leave it on the nipple so baby could smell your milk and be more willing to latch. So during the early days after birth, you have colostrum, your first milk. So hand expression is more effective at removing colostrum than a breast pump. So you wanna focus more on hand expressing. Also, let's say that baby is in NICU, the neonatal intensive care unit, hand expression will get you more milk to give to baby. So you want to massage the breast all around from the back towards the nipple to help move that milk inside so it's easier to get the milk out. And then you want to, it's all about um, hand and finger placement. You want to place your fingers behind the areola and you want to make kind of like a line with the nipple, okay? And then you want to press back. You want to press back towards your chest wall and while you're there, then you want to compress your fingers. Remember, we're not sliding our fingers on the skin. We're not sliding our fingers. Our fingers don't move, okay? So when you have your fingers behind the areola, you're pressing right in, straight back. Straight back, and you hold it there, and then you compress. Pro tip here, you want to hold it for a few seconds. Milk is not gonna start flowing right away okay and that's okay don't panic Mil the milk is in there you just need to make sure your massage all around put your fingers around the areola behind the areola right press in so towards the back of your chest towards ba the back and then squeeze compress bring your fingers together and you hold it there for a few seconds and then you do it again you might have to do it a few times for milk to start flowing and that's okay. And you wanna have a good pattern. You don't wanna just stop for every drop. You wanna have a good pattern. So press towards the back, squeeze and hold a little bit for a few seconds and do it again. And then if milk stops flowing, you could go back to massaging and then you could use a different area. You could do it in a different area, all right? So you wanna do this for like about five, seven minutes on each breast, all right? And then um, it will really benefit your milk supply. So every time that, that you need to relieve more milk or baby is not latching, just, just do hand expression. You could do it anywhere, any place, anytime. Just to recap, so you want to apply moist heat on the breast or take a warm shower, and then you want to massage all around, circular motion all around the breast, or you could do this, gentle, gentle massage, and then you want to do the technique. Hands behind, hands behind the areola, press in towards the chest wall, and then squeeze, hold, 
and do it again. You want to have a good rhythm, all right? And then just know every mom has a sweet spot. So once you find your sweet spot, that's where you want to focus on, okay? That area, that's where you want to focus. So this was my quick overview on hand expression. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was. Um, give the video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.